Right then, let's take a look at day three at Goodwood, the main races for you. And the rain stayed away, but the ground was extremely tacky. There was a fresh strip, however, on the far side, and in the opening handicap, a classy affair for three-year-olds. They went hammer and tongs. The closers came to the fore. Good omen, last to first under Jamie Spencer. Loving that ground, banging form, Simcox stable. The form does look strong. Frontispiece is a decent runner-up, but you had to be far side there. Messy race indeed. In the second race for the Phillies, the group three, Endless time. She did punters a favour finally on the week. She needed every single yard to get it. She ran in the, in the Gold Cup last time. Cheap pieces on this time. She loved the ground. It was a cracking finish there. Dubka in second round, a blinder. Melodic motion. She's the one to take out the race for Rafe Beckett in third. Three-year-old going places. In the Richmond, again, the horse furthest side one, Barraquero, third to expert eye. How good is that Newbury maiden now looking on his debut? Impressed last time at Chepstow, ran out a ready winner. Form looks solid as well, rated around those placed horses. Card sharp, don't give up on him. He wants better ground, it could be the pre-morning next for him. And then the Nassau, winter, unimpressive, but the ground wasn't in her favour at all. Fourth straight group one. 107 rated Blondie in second, muddling form, but the best filly came out on top on a sizzling day.